Oh, welcome back. Because in this episode, I'm going to answer that question. Is Michigan a tax lien state? And absolutely, it was when I started, but today it's a tax deed state. So let's learn about that. Now, the states, they enact many different rules and processes. And once that legislature makes the rule, they pass it down to the counties and expect the county treasurer and tax collector to follow through and get all that done. So I'll explain all that as we go along. But just kind of open up your mind because this is a big state, a lot of counties. As you can see, 83 different counties. All of these counties sell tax deed properties. That simply means that if the property owner does not pay the taxes, the county will not only give them due process notice, but the county will confiscate that they'll seize the property and they'll ultimately resell that property. All right, so we're very lucky because we're in an environment where we can make a lot of money. So this is called wealth creation. So this is one of the ways you can create wealth for your family is by learning how to buy these tax defaulted properties, okay? Now, my name is Ted Thomas and I've been investing in tax liens and tax deeds for over 30 years. Now, I started my real estate career buying single family homes. I slowly grew that to buying with investors, 50 and 100 unit apartment properties and even small office buildings. But 30 years ago, I learned about tax lien certificates and about tax defaulted properties. And folks, I haven't looked back since then. So I'm gonna start by giving you a short background on tax liens and tax deeds, and then we'll get right into the depths of learning how you can make a six figure income like other educated investors do in the state of Michigan. I'll be right back. Okay. The episode is answering the question, is Michigan a tax lien state? Absolutely not. No tax liens in Michigan. However, when I started years ago, Michigan was a tax lien state that paid all the way up to 50% interest, five zero percent Now, if you're an educated investor, you're going to be able to make a six-figure income working in this state. Now, I don't know if you're going to make that on your first deal, but on multiple deals, you can earn a six-figure income and I've got people that have done as many as 60 and 70 properties in the state of Michigan, and they're making handfuls of money. Well, some people like to say truckloads even. Now, before I'm finished, you're gonna learn how to make money part-time. This could be a side hustle for you where you can make 10,000, 15, even $25,000 a year buying tax defaulted property, tax deed property in the state of Michigan. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you a little foundational material so that you completely understand. Now, the secret to wealth is always going to be the same thing. It's going to be knowledge and ideas. Now, if you have good ideas, I'm telling you, there's always someone that'll be there ready to fund them. So I'm going to try and give you a ton of knowledge. As you go through that, go through this channel, you'll find a lot of knowledge on tax liens and deeds. This is a business that you can make a lot of money. If you have ideas, there's always someone that there that wants to help you and fund it because they want a piece of the action. Now, I never said this is a piece of cake. This is going to be work. You're going to have to learn how to do it. But if you want to have a big money success, you can do the same thing. I've had thousands of people that I've taught how to do that. If they can do it, you darn sure can do it. You're not going to be rich by next Friday, but give it some thought and you'll be able to be able to do this. All right. So today's lesson is answering the question, is Michigan a tax lien state? The answer is absolutely not. It was a tax lien state. It paid all the way up to 50% interest on a tax lien certificate. So when I started, many of us flocked to Michigan to buy tax lien certificate. But keep in mind, when I started, there was no online or anything like that. It, you had to go there and you had to bid on them. All right. So when the owners don't pay their property tax in Michigan, the state doesn't put up with that at all. Matter of fact, if they don't make their property tax payments, they're going to lose their property. So I'm going to cover a little bit of that. All right. So it's a simple process but you're going to have to learn how to do your homework. You have to learn how to research these properties. We have tons of classes on that, but you can do that yourself. All of the rules for, for Michigan are in the state statutes. Now, what's a statute? A statute is nothing more than the law. So if you ever went to an attorney's office, you see all those books up on the wall. Those are the statutes. That's the law. So where do you go to do that? You can go to your public library and do it if the library's big enough. If not, you can do it online. But the point is, you're going to have to learn how to research property. Once you know how to do it, well, you're going to be able to buy properties for 10, 20 cents on the dollar. That means you're going to get discounts 
60, 70, 80%. So in Michigan, you're not buying a tax lien, you're buying a tax deed. That means you're going to get the property. You could get a 60, 70, or 80% discount on that property. Now, the government rules are always changing. So wise investors learn how to do their homework. So you need to be one of those people that learns the process and follows it step by step. Now, are you going to buy in all 5,000 counties? No. But in Michigan, they've got counties, 83 counties. You can just decide which counties you go to and just study those counties. That's, that's a simple process. Okay, but there's over 5,000 auctions nationwide this year. All right. They're all unique taxing districts. Every single one of them is a unique taxing district. And all you have to do is learn the rules for that auction. They're going to sell at public auction. All right, so here's what happens. Every property owner, everyone's allowed to own property. It's a privilege. Now, what can you do if you own a property? Well, you could put a house on it. You could put a trailer park on it. You could put uh, crops on it. You could run cattle on it. You get any idea. So if you build a house on that property, you have to pay property tax. If there's nothing built on it, you have to pay property tax. All right. It's a privilege to own property in the United States. So everybody has the same privilege. However, you lose your privilege if you don't pay the taxes. So the local treasurer will do something about collecting taxes. All right. All the rules are enacted where? At the state level. And I'll show you a legislature in just a minute. All right. So look at what we have here. This is a USA map. You recognize that. But now it's divided into all the counties. Every one of those counties is a different taxing district. Every one of them. So that means every one of them can collect taxes. All right. Now, if that privileged owner doesn't pay tax, I can tell you right now, they're going to lose that property. All right. Now, they're allowed to do anything they want with the property. Anything they want, they allow you to do it. However, you just must pay your property tax. If you don't, the local government is going to do something about it. All right. Now, this is the government. This is the legislature. They make the laws there that say you have to pay the tax. The legislature makes the law, the statute, then they pass it down to the to county board of supervisors or, or board of commissioners. They pass it down to them. And then the, those commissioners or board of supervisors have the local tax collector, the assessor, and the people that run the, the, the county. They have them go out and give notice of these people that you have to pay taxes. All right. Now, if you don't pay taxes, they're going to do something about it. All right. Now. The something about it is this. They're going to give you due process notice, which I'll show you in a second. They're going to give you the due process notice. If you don't pay, they're going to confiscate the property. It's going to get sold at auction. Now, when it's sold at auction, it's sold for basically the back taxes. And that's the electricity that you want to hear because you're interested in wealth creation. So if you can buy for just back taxes, which might be a few thousand dollars, and it's a fifty or hundred thousand dollar property. You got a lot of margin for profit. So if it's a hundred thousand dollar property, and you can get it for ten cents on the dollar. Boy, that's a lot of margin. I don't know if you're going to get every one of the one I mentioned, but the point is, there's plenty of margin if you can buy for just the back taxes. All right. Now, every county has the ability to confiscate and seize the property. Okay. How do they do that? Well, they're going to give default notices to people and say you must pay your taxes on a certain date. Now, if those people don't pay the taxes, the county is actually going to push them out of the property. They're going to evict them from the property. It doesn't matter whether it's a tenant or the owner. They're going to push them out and the county is going to take over that property. All right. So what question am I answering today? The question that we were asked when we started was, is Michigan a tax lien state? Absolutely not. Michigan is a tax deed state. That means that Michigan is going to foreclose on that property. Michigan is going to seize the property. Once they've seized it and confiscated it, they're going to sell it at an auction. All right. So now they can't go pick it up with a pickup truck, but they're going to push the people out and then they're going to have an auction for that property. The auction will be noticed on the county county website. They'll also put it in the newspaper and anybody can go to this auction. You can go there. Anybody can bid. The starting bid will be, generally speaking, about the back taxes. Now, if you can buy a decent property, which you get to look at and, and inspect, if you look at that property, it's a pretty decent property, and you can resell it, you're going to have a starting bid of just the back taxes. So that means that you're probably going to end up with a 60, 70, or 80% discount from what the retail value is. All right, so look at the slide. This house isn't perfect, 
But could you fix it up? Could you do something with it? I have no idea what the inside is, and you won't know either. However, if you could buy it for pennies on the dollar, it would make a lot, a lot of sense. Now, the part that everybody forgets about, this is probably most important, is this. The county, the treasurer has power. And what is the power the treasurer has? The treasurer can wipe out the mortgage. I said they could delete the mortgage. They could take it off the public records. So the treasurer and the county officials have power to wipe out a mortgage. Now you're going to buy a property at 60, 70, 80 percent discount. It has no mortgage. Folks, it's not going to get any better than that, I can assure you. All right. Now, you're probably not believing what I'm saying is true. Folks, this is true. It's been around in different forms in all of the states and all the counties for some 200 years. State of Michigan, treasurer is given power, wipes out the mortgage, put the property up for sale. Some large counties will have hundreds of properties. Small counties will just have a few properties. It'll be a percentage of the population, basically what it's going to be. All right. So what do you want to do? You want to acquire new knowledge. What for? So you can use that experience to go out and make wealth. Okay. Wealth creation is what this is all about. Today we started out, we learned about Michigan. Michigan is not a tax lien state. It's a tax deed state. And that means that they're going to have many, many properties for sale. And when you want to be able to generate thousands of dollars in income, well, there's what you want to do. You want to buy them for pennies and you want to sell them for big dollars. If you use installment sales like we teach, you're going to get even bigger dollars and be like the banker. The point is, this is a way for the little guy to start out small with just a few dollars and be able to make some pretty big money buying properties without a mortgage. Now, what is the government doing? They're taking property that was in default. Okay, the people in default are not paying taxes. The government needs money. How are they gonna pay the school teachers? How are they gonna pay the fire department? How are they gonna pay the police? If the default property isn't bringing in money, all they wanna do is they wanna sell it to you so it goes back on the honorable taxpayer list. In other words, the people that pay their taxes. Now, folks, I'm going to finish this video in just a second. And when I do, right below me is a free gift from me to you. And it's going to teach you even more about this. But let me mention two mistakes that happen at these auctions. Two big mistakes. Mistake number one, that is people don't look at the property. If you haven't looked at the property, I don't know whether it's next to a pig farm I don't know if there's been a hurricane last week. I don't know if there's a flood. It could be damaged. So you don't want to buy a property that you haven't had boots on the ground or somebody that you know with boots on the ground. All right, second big mistake that happens at these auctions, second big mistake is people do not have an exit strategy. So folks, if you don't know what you can sell the property for, don't buy it. Now, I mentioned you're going to buy it very low at the just back taxes. What can you sell it for? Well, I like to buy them low and sell them low. I don't try to get maximum money. If I can buy it for 20 cents on the dollar, I'm probably going to sell it for 40 cents on the dollar to someone that wants to go fix it up. Why? I can make a nice profit just using my knowledge. And that's what this channel is all about. Just teaching you how to use knowledge. I'm Ted Thomas. I'll see you on the next video.